All right. Hey, guys, what's up? I hope everybody has had a great, great couple weeks. I'm going to dive right in here. This message is based off of the song Invisible, but <laughs> Invisible by the band Disciple. And the lyrics I'm going to break down are specifically the whole second verse. The second verse goes like this. I'm ready to listen. There's no need to hold it all inside. The smallest whisper, I can hear it when your strength has all but died. I need you to believe me. Can you trust me that what you see is not what I see? The reflection in the mirror is telling lies. Because nothing you have done can change how much I love you. You see, the song here is trying to depict God telling us, telling us that no matter what, he still loves us. And the reflection in the mirror is telling lies. Now, God hears us even, even the smallest little thing, even when our strength, even when our strength is very low. And the second verse in the song admittedly highlights something that I, I have a very difficult time doing. And I'm going to be honest and upfront with that. See, we need to trust God, even when our thoughts tell us not to. And Paul kind of reminds us that God is still our God in our sufferings in Romans chapter 5, verses 1 through 8, that I'm going to read right now. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance produces character and character produces hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. You see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. You see, God shows his love for us because he died for us. And God speaks to us even when we're at our lowest. And God still listens to us even when we're at our lowest. But our spiritual enemy, on the other hand, is very real. And our spiritual enemy will tell us that we're not good enough. In this time, when you're being told that you're not good enough, we need to remember that grace extends to us. And I don't know about you guys, but I get in these moods and I say things like, yeah, God gives grace to everyone. You know, everyone except me. Because I'm that bad of a person. You may not say that, but I can guarantee you, you say something similar to that. We all do. And it's okay. But, that's how we get trapped in our own pride. That's right. That statement, yeah, God gives grace, but not to me, I'm too bad. It's pride. It's our own pride. It's not the pride that, in the sense that we see pride. You know, it's not the pride in the I'm too good pride. Right? It's still pride. If you think that God can't save you, it's prideful. If I go out and I say, yeah, God can't save me. I'm too, I'm too bad. Right? Therefore, I'm saying that I'm more powerful than God. And that, that is just not true. It sounds crazy when I say that. It's not true. If you go out and say, that God can't save me, I'm too bad, you're being prideful, and you're thinking that you're more powerful than God. And you and I both know that's not true, and that might sound silly, but in reality, that's exactly what you're saying. And that's how our spiritual enemy kind of gets us trapped in our, own, in our own pride. Pretty crazy, right? You see, the reflection in the mirror is telling lies. Look at Luke chapter 15. Entire, the entirety of Luke chapter 15 parable of the prodigal son parables of such of all those natures there basically telling us that no matter what we've done god still loves us no matter what nothing you have done can change how much god loves you i think of it this way remember pride works 
both ways, right? I, I break it off into two things. There's probably a better way to say this, and there's probably more sophisticated ways to say this. But I'm just going to kind of say it the way that I do because I'm a simple guy, and I go by simplicity for everything. You see, I call it there's, quote, too good pride, as in I'm too good for something. And there's the, quote, too bad pride, right? As in I'm too bad, nothing, nothing, for, nothing for me, I'm too bad, I don't deserve any of this and therefore I'm too bad I'm worse than everybody else I don't deserve it I don't get it that's how we get trapped in our own pride and there's probably a better way and a different word to say that but it's to me that's that's how I see it. it's very very simple we're not too good and we're not too bad either the grace extends to us too and a lot of times we we forget that I know I forget that and you know that's the truth don't get trapped in your own lies. Don't get trapped. It's easier said than done. Trust me. I know I've been there. I go there all the time. Trust me. Trust me. Watch. Watch out for the trap. The reflection in the mirror is telling lies. You are good enough. Nothing you have done can change how much God loves you. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. John 3.16. And 3.17 is also very important too. But... Besides that, besides that, before I get off topic, remember, God loves you no matter how far you've fallen or anything of that nature. The reflection in the mirror is telling lies. We need to believe God and we need to trust God. And admittedly, that's something that I need to work on. That's something I need to work on and I'll be upfront and honest with that. Not every day do I get up and say, you know what, God, I'm going to trust you. Some, <laughs> some days I get up and say, you know, what's going on? Why is this happening? I can't believe this is happening. That's my own pride kicking in. That's my own pride. That's me saying in a weird roundabout way that I'm more powerful than God. You and I both know that's not true. <laughs> you and I both know that is not not true. That is the lie that our spiritual enemy is trying to tell us. Don't get caught up in that lie. Do not get trapped. We are not invisible. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great rest of your week, guys.